everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Catherine if you are new hello please subscribe if you enjoy watching this video um, today's video is going to be a summer essentials so this is going to be the things that I believe are great for summertime so if you're interested then just stay tuned okay so we're gonna be starting out with skincare this is a read purchase this one is brand new but it's the hello fab which is first day beauty pure skin face cleanser with Fab Antioxidant Booster and it says it removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grim and it's safe for sensitive skin. So this is what it looks like. I really love this. I have noticed like I've used this before and I've used up the whole entire bottle and my skin looked so great so um, when I was having all these skin issues I was like you know what I'm just gonna go repurchase this because I know that my face was really good when I was using this and it looked much more clear so this is my first summer essential because when it's hot you're gonna be sweating more you know dirt's getting into your pores so it's really good to have a good face cleanser that is not only just amazing but it also is good for sensitive skin so pretty much anyone can use this so I highly recommend this um, I'm just gonna stay with skincare for right now so I just recently got this. It's the Junk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. So this is going to be a really, really great um, face moisturizer. It is a gel um, type of texture like it says in the name. But it's going to improve the skin's texture and it's going to deliver long lasting hydration. So it has, um, it's, it says it provides nutrients. Um, it is formulated with pro vitamin B, pineapple ceramide, and it works to replenish moisture, helping to diminish drabness, dryness, and uneven texture, and the appearance of fine lines. So I have really been loving this. It, I have noticed, like, I have really dry skin, and typically, but also in the summer, because I'm always washing my face, and... Um, yeah, I just have dry skin. So pretty much this has been helping me so much and I've noticed that my skin just really just absorbs it and sucks it in um, with the gel type of texture that this has and I really, really love this. So I definitely recommend this. This is the first Drunk Elephant product that I have tried out, but now that I've tried out this one, I definitely want to try out all of them. They are more on the pricey side, but I definitely do love this. Um, this is great for summer. It's the Milk Makeup Cooling Water. So pretty much it just looks like this. And this is formulated with caffeine and seawater, I believe it is. Seaweed water? I don't know. But you put it under your eyes, so it's just like this, and you just screw it up. And then you just put it under your eyes or wherever you want. It says you can apply it pretty much wherever you want just for a cooling effect. It is very cooling. When I wake up in the morning, I'll put this right under my eyes. It helps with eye bags. Um, and not only that, but if you're hot in the summertime and you just need something and you don't want, like, don't have anything else. Or if you don't have, like, a, like a facial spray, then you're going to want to use this. And I really, really love this. I have heard also other really great reviews on this, so I had to pick it up for myself. And I already love it. The next thing is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. I also had the Rose Water one, and I love that one as well, but this one smells so good. Not only that, but it's only $7, so this is a definite staple because of the price, and it's cruelty-free, and I believe it's paraben-free. It says, invigorate dull, tired skin with an infusion of nutrient-rich botanicals and cucumber essential water. This facial mist, mist delivers a cooling boost of hydration as green tea provides powerful antioxidant protection, leaving the skin feeling refreshed and revitalized. So what I've noticed recently is that anything that says antioxidant, I am buying because my skin loves it and it helps it with being more clear. So this you can just spray if you're wearing makeup, if you're not wearing makeup. I usually just spray it as I wake up in the morning before I go to bed. Um, and even sometimes on my makeup. Just as like a setting spray. Okay, getting more into the makeup type of items. We're first going to start off with a primer. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. As you have seen in many of my videos. 
I will typically apply this because this is going to give you that glow from within um, if you are wearing makeup. If you're not wearing makeup, it can make you just look extremely glowy, which is also good, and it makes you look very nice. So that's all I have to really say about this primer. It doesn't, um, what's the word? Like it doesn't help with pores or anything, so I definitely use a different primer for that. But this is definitely going to give you a really nice natural glow. Okay, so for my two favorite makeup items pretty much ever for this summer of 2017, the first one is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. This one is in Luminate, Luminous Bronze Light. And as you have seen in all of my makeup tutorials this summer, I am loving this. This is going to give you an all-over really nice bronze, but then it's also going to give you a really nice subtle glow which is also why I love it. So you can wear it alone and still be glowing. I can't breathe. Okay, and then to go along with that is also the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. This one is in Incandescent Electrica. It's just that really nice peachy golden glow this as well with the bronzer you're not going to need a highlighter i mean unless you want a really intense highlight then yeah i would add a highlighter but if it's just like a really nice summer day or like a lake day or beach day you can always just throw this on and it's going to give a really really nice like lovely glow with <sighs> it's going to give a really nice glow from within so i definitely recommend these two and together they look amazing Okay, so this is definitely um, one of my favorites. It is Drugstore. It is the L'Oreal True Match um, Foundation. This one is in W2, which is now becoming too light for me because I've been tanning. Um, but this right here is definitely an amazing summer foundation. It's not heavy at all. It looks good. It, you know, is really easy to blend. It has SPF 17 in it. I can't say enough good things about this foundation, and it never looks cakey. It's like, you put it on, you can't feel it, and it always just look, gives you that really natural, nice looking look. Um, I would say this one is medium to, like, it's buildable to full coverage, but it's medium coverage, is what I would say. And I wear along with that is my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, so it's in the box, um, I have this in two colors. One is for highlighting, one is for concealing any blemishes that I have. This, I know, is going around YouTube and everyone is um, in love with this, but it is seriously amazing. If you haven't picked it up, go try it now. It never creases and it covers anything that you really want it to. Like, I've never had issues covering up um, blemishes or, like, um, dark circles under my eyes, so I definitely highly recommend this. This is my absolute favorite. Um, Holy Grail concealer. So this I just picked up recently as well, but I already love it. It's the Marc Jacobs um, Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. And so it just looks like this. It has really nice sleek white packaging. Very nice. And then it just has the pump on the top. It does smell like coconut. It says it's a 24-hour setting mist perfection, glowing hydration, and coconut delight. Um, so pretty much this is just a really good 24 hour setting spray this is going to be great in the summertime if you don't want your makeup to go anywhere also has a really nice coconut smell which is also great for the summertime because coconut in summer usually is a scent so I also recommend this one I don't know the price on this one but with it being Marc Jacobs I'm assuming it's on the more pricey side but I'll have all the um, products down below in the description bar. Um, that's all I have for, like, makeup or skincare, but I wanted to throw in a couple extra items. So these are my absolute favorite sandals ever. They are my ride or dice. I wear these every single day almost if I'm not wearing, like, shoes, because that's the only time I don't wear sandals. Um, these are the only sandals that I wear now because I'm so in love with them. They're the Tory Burch Miller sandals. These ones are in the matte black. They are on the more expensive side, but 
I mean, I've had these for maybe like seven or eight months and I've worn them every day and you really can't tell that there's that much wear on them. So they're definitely worth the money and I'm going to be getting these in every single color. Because I love them. These are my favorite sandals ever. And I love Tory Burch, so how could you go wrong? Okay, so I also have two more swimsuits, which I'm obsessed with. Okay, so I have this first one, which is my current favorite color. It's going to show up more orange on camera, but it is more of a, like, yellow mango color, especially when it gets wet. Okay, so these are from White Fox. It has a bandeau, bandeau top. It looks really orange on camera, but I promise you it's like a mango yellow, and I'm obsessed. Um, it has the rose gold hardware, which is really cute, and it has no padding, which I actually like because I don't like the padding in bikinis. Um, it's really annoying, and I just, I'm not a fan. I got this, and I got the top and the bottom in a small. Um, I wish I would have got the top in a medium because this is really tight, but it covers up everything, so it's okay. And I also got the matching bottoms. These just have like this like string type on the side, which I like because I hate side ties. And then it's just like grunched in the butt, but it, it covers most of my butt, so it's really cute. And then I got this one, I don't know if I mentioned, but I got this one from White Fox. And this one is also a favorite. I really am into the bandeau type of thing this year. So this is the print, this is the top. It's like a bandeau and then you put your arms through and it's kind of got like the off the shoulder ruffle type. It's really cute on. Um, I got this one from TJ Maxx and I think it was only like $16 so it was a steal. But it's just white with this really cute pattern on it. Um, this one does have like those little, I don't know what they're called. They're like the really tiny like boob pad things in there. Which I don't know if you can take out. I don't think you can or I probably would have taken them out. Oh, I guess you can. I... But yeah, so that's the top. It's really, really cute. And then the bottoms are just like this, which again, they have like the runch back a little bit, which are really cute. And I had to get this in a medium because it ran really, really small. But this is just what it looks like. It's really cute. I'm obsessed. So those are two of the bikinis that I've been wearing a ton this summer. So I think that's all I have for my summer essentials. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching.